everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mom Q&A with Mamas and Cut, where we talk about motherhood, parenting, relationships, and so much more based off of the questions you send us anonymously. Again, we got Mindy and Lisa. You guys ready to get started? Yep. Yep. All right. Let's do this. I'm interested to know how many women are 100% okay with their husbands looking at porn. I've recently found porn on my husband's phone for the second time after I explained that I am not comfortable with it and see it as a form of cheating. We have sex regularly and I send him photos, videos all the time. I just don't understand why I'm not enough. So clearly this is a topic that comes up a lot and many women feel this way, but having a lot of guy friends throughout my life, I've I, I generally have had more guy friends than girlfriends. I mean, guys are pigs. Like, they all do it. And, you know, maybe that's a low bar I've set in my <laughs> own life. But at the same time, like, you know, there's just, there's just some stuff that I, over time, have learned to sort of let go because... If you ask her, you know, she, I'm sure finds other humans attractive physically and whatever. And like, it's kind of natural and it doesn't mean you're cheating. It doesn't mean you've got a wandering eye, but you know, if a hot guy walks past you, like everyone's going to kind of notice or vice versa, if, if you're a guy and a attractive girl walks by. And so, and it's just so pervasive in terms of male behavior, I think I think women in general are trying to find or misplace their own validity in whether their guy looks at porn. And if we as women are going to go to that place, we're going to lose that battle, right? We've got to be able to find the validity in ourselves to be like, all right, well, all guys do it or a lot of guys do it. And that's not a fight I'm willing to fight. Like, how do I find the validity in myself? so that this doesn't bug me because I, it, it's, it's, it's hurtful and it's, um, and it's, I don't want to say it's sad, but it's, it's, it's a woman handing over power to a man when something like that can get under their skin and being sort of the feminist that I am and the strong woman that I am, like, I'm not willing to cede that power to any guy. And I get this is way more meta than this particular situation, but this, this comes up so often and it stems from this foundational element of like women being conditioned to, to give that power over to a man and, and feel validated, you know, in particular ways. And I think we as women need to reconsider that paradigm for ourselves and for our own health. Yeah, so, I I want to go off of that because I think my, my answer was going to be somewhat similar in that I don't know if you should look at it as if like, you're not enough for your husband. I think there's, maybe we just don't know the whole story here. Like if he's comparing you to these women, then I think you have a problem. Then I think, you know, he needs to take a step back and realize what he's doing. Um, but yeah, what you were saying, Lisa so many people do it. So many people look at porn that like, don't look at it or don't compare yourself to it. Don't look at it as you're not enough. Look at it as not something that he needs, but like something that he's done probably before you. And it's just like something he's used to doing. And I don't think it needs to be anything bigger than that, unless he is making it something bigger and she just didn't explain it in that question. Then I think there is a problem there. But um, if he is just kind of looking at it and not really doing anything else with it, then I think you just kind of let it be what it is. So yeah. I have a different take than you guys. Cause I think, I don't know. I feel like 
men and their need. I don't feel like it's something we should just excuse as like men need to do that or men have to do that kind of if we're looking at it at a meta scale, right? Because I feel like it's degrading to women that men have to look at them that way. Like totally. I think that's I think that's degrading. And so with this woman, here's what I think. I think that if she feels that's where a boundary should be, she needs to talk to her husband and clarify. They need to figure out together what's okay, what's not in their relationship. Maybe she'll get some clarity from him on why he is doing this or why he feels like he, that's something that he wants in his life. Cause she explained everything feels normal. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that they need to work that out together. Cause I think like if she has a boundary and she has that line, I don't think saying that he, he's a guy is enough to excuse that she doesn't feel comfortable with that within the bounds of their relationship, if that makes sense. So I kind of look at, I mean, I look at it with the same view of like, you know, women should be able to, I think, but a woman should be able to also in her relationship say, this is what I, this is how I want to be treated. And these are what, this is what I expect from you or don't expect. Like, let's figure out a way to make that work within our world. So, so I totally agree. And I did yeah. not mean to, um, no, no, no. I was, I'm just explaining from like a different viewpoint of why I think that it's okay, but still not okay at the same time, you know? Well, so but let, let's talk about that. Right. Because I, I think my, my point of, you know, guys are pigs. They're going to kind of do that. Yeah. It's, I don't it's feel more, that by the way, I know it, lots of really great men. And so that's why I feel like I have a different perspective and I'm also, you know, it's just different, which is fine. But, but it's also this element of, and, and granted, I totally generalized my comment, but it's this element of, um, there's an ecosystem that engages in this stuff, right? And there's women who are okay with you know, oh, being objectified from a porn perspective. And so I think my point to this woman is, if it really bothers you, then you've got to take a stance and maybe the relationship isn't worth it. But it's almost impossible to get rid of it. And it's yeah. almost impossible, oh, sure. <laughs> right? It, it's, it's almost impossible to not have some that that type of thing impact your life in some capacity almost no matter who you're dating and and I think that's my point right like rise above it find validity in yourself so that when it does show up because she can't control whether it shows up that she doesn't feel like it's personal to her right yes that makes right. total sense. And, or that she's any less or slighted in any way. Yes. It doesn't have because, anything to do with her. Yeah. Correct. Yep. It, because totally it's agree. just out there everywhere. And like, it's so pervasive and she's never going to be able to control it. And, and that's what I try to say to all these women who feel slighted by this. It's like, dude, it's kind of everywhere. Right. It, it, there's a reason people don't Google their names who are on social media. It's the same, it's the same concept, right? Yeah. Like, there's just stuff out there and it doesn't do you any good to read it or to get worked up about it because you can't control it anyway. And, and that's kind of how I feel about this topic. Yep. I can see that. Yeah. I just don't want her to go around thinking that she's not enough because this is how totally. because that yeah. him watching porn does not mean you're not enough because you're yeah. absolutely enough. You um, can control what you can control. Yeah. The end. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week.